You asked me in the back about all the minutes the Knicks play. He's like, why they don't? Why don't he play a two or more? If he can play that good, he's, not well, in, in that, in that Kenny, time, Kenny he should have been playing. He, he, I said, Kenny, I, because it, it is interesting why he played all those other guys over four of the minutes. The pressures ain't played at all. He comes in, he has a great game. I'm like, those guys can take some of their minutes off because you have you. Even though it looks good, I heard Coach Van Gundy talking about it. Yo, know, man, the, these injuries. We still got another long way to go. Yeah, you can't play. I don't think consistently play over 42, 43 minutes in an NBA game. You know, that, that productive, sometimes you, your production, if you play 42 minutes or 36 minutes, is going to be the same. Your production is going to be the same, but you're going to be fresher and more efficient. And that's the And difference. not get hurt. And not get hurt. Thing is, but they're logging all these minutes, but they're almost at their best in the fourth quarter in the second half of these games. I mean, it's like. Well, but the one it, thing they're doing, the number one, they got a closer. Yeah. But that, that offensive rebounding thing, that's, that won the Sixers series for them, and it definitely won the game tonight. That's, I don't, that's just effort. Josh Hart, by the way, uh, didn't sit for a second again. Come on, man. full minutes. Got to go home and win the two games. But, man, he got to be really careful. Because that's always been a knock on Tibbs, that he plays – he runs guys in the ground. And you would think, like, okay, maybe he learned something from his Chicago days. But we still – we only, in the second round of the playoffs, game two. So, listen, those minutes add up quickly, man. I don't think you can play guys the whole game – three, four, five games and expect them to hold up or be efficient. Take me in. So that was Kenny Smith and Charles Barkley saying something similar like Stephen A. Smith alluded to before the playoffs started, and that's Tom Thibodeau's coaching style. He goes to a very, very small rotation. He won't even go seven deep at times. And we've seen this in these playoffs. Well, he's all, he will he will play guys the entire game. He's done that with Josh Hart. I think it's four games now that Josh Hart did not come out the game, and we're seeing guys breaking down. I mean, Mitchell Robinson just went out, but Mitchell Robinson's injury prone. But he's he's out. He's not a starter. But OG got hurt, hamstring. Jalen Brunson with the foot. We don't know how serious that is. That could be something real serious in the next game that that hinders him. And a lot of people, even Reggie Smith said this on live television. This is one of the problems that they have with Tom Thibodeau running guys to the ground. I mean, they feel like Derrick Rose is a victim of that. You're going to have people disagree, but I have been saying that for years. I do hold him responsible for those injuries to Derrick Rose. And now Jalen Brunson and so many others like Josh Hart. <sighs> I agree with Charles them. How long are they going to be able to hold up like this? This is a playoff series. You need to be using your bench and rotations. I mean, we've seen other teams are utilizing their bench. The best teams at that. And now, right, this is just a knock on Tom Thibodeau. He has not learned from those Chicago days. It seems like he's doubling down on how he does things. But post comments, let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. Is this sustainable? I don't think it is. I think the guys are wearing down right now because they're playing too many minutes right now in these playoff series. Post comments, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel.